Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And a very good day to everyone So, welcome back to our class So, uh, today we're going to learn a new chapter The chapter 11 Okay, isometric transformation Okay, in this chapter you are going to learn six new things Okay, which are transformation, translation, reflection, rotation Translation, reflection, and rotation as an isometry, and last one is rotational symmetry. Okay, so for the purpose of this slot, okay, this um, class, we are going to cover two things, okay, transformation and translation. Okay, before that, there are few word links that you need to know. Okay, the first one is object image clockwise anti-clockwise isometry congruency orientation axis center of rotation reflection transformation translation symmetry vector rotation rotational symmetry and order of rotational symmetry okay so we're going to um, learn these words in this chapter okay so why do we need to study this chapter okay so look over here okay knowledge is sorry knowledge in the field of transformation can be applied in the manufacturing and fashion design industries okay vehicles designed such as motorcycles car and planes require the design of symmetrical object meanwhile Fashion designers will produce different patterns in each of their design. Okay, so this is a bit of uh, application of this chapter. Okay. Okay, so let's look at the first uh, learning standard. Okay, so we have described the changes of shape, sizes, direction, and orientation of an object under a transformation and hence explain the idea of one-to-one -one correspondence between point in a transformation okay okay so let's look at the first example okay which of the following shows a transformation and why okay so before that okay let's look over here okay over here it stated that transformation is a movement with a certain orientation and match without changing the shape okay transformation ni adalah satu pergerakan okay di mana dia tidak mengubah bentuk objek itu okay dia mungkin boleh uh, songsang dia mungkin boleh Itulah songsang sisi Okay, tapi dia tidak mengubah bentuk uh, objek itu Okay, so look at the first example Okay, so we have A Okay, transform into B Okay, sekarang Cuba tengok di sini Okay Bentuk dia lebih kurang sama Bentuk dia sama, cuma dia uh, songsang sahaja Okay, so we can say that Okay, transformation because it does not change the shape okay it will be big okay look at the second one okay we have triangle n and triangle m okay so from m we transform into n okay for this situation transformation because it only changes position and does not change the shape okay ingat uh, penting di sini shape okay the third one c okay from p transform into Q okay P we have 1 2 3 4 5 vertices and the lima buchu while Q 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 vertices ada tujuh buchu ah di sini kita dah nampak okay bentuk dia tak sama okay so we can say that this is not a transformation due to a change in appearance okay and D okay we have K Okay, transform into L. Okay, obviously the shape is different. So we can conclude that not a transformation due to a change in appearance. Okay.
Okey, boleh faham eh? Transformation. Okey, dia bergerak, dia berubah tempat. Okey, dia uh, mungkin dia boleh songsang sisi dia macam ni kan. Uh, macam kita tengok cermin, songsang. Uh, tapi bentuk dia tetap sama. Tidak mengubah, tidak berubah bentuk. Okey. Uh, kalau dia berubah, uh, itu bukan transformation. Okay, now let's look at number example 2. Okay, the diagram shows A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F as an object while P, Q, R, S, T, U is an image. P, Q, R, S, T, U. Okay, ingat. Ob- image is something that occur after a transformation. Okay. State the image of point C. Okay. Sekarang kita tengok C. Over here is C. Okay. So, we know that the image of C is absolutely this one. Boleh? T. So, we can say that the image of point C is T. Because of the same shape but the position is different. Okay. Contoh yang ni kalau awak pusing dia jadi L. Okay. Tempat dia, kedudukan dia sama. C dan L. Okay. So, next, the line AB. So, we have line AB over here. AB. AB ni on top of L, right? Kita tahu dia on top of L shape ni. So, kita tengok this one. Okay, L shape kita macam ni terbalik. So, kita tahu yang lebih kurang sama dengan AB adalah S. R. Okay. So, the image of the line AB is RS. SR lah, okay. This is because the image has the same length. Okay. And last one, angle of BCD. Which one is BCD? Okay. BCD kita tahu angle yang kita berminat adalah yang di tengah-tengah. The middle one is the angle. So, BCD. So, this one. Okay. So, we know that the image is uh, inilah macam tadi kan. STU okay so we can say that the image of angle BCD is angle STU because angle BCD is of the same size as angle STU okay okay next let's move forward to 11.1.2 congruency okay So, the learning standard is explain the idea of congruency in transformation. Okay. So, for transformation, sorry, for congruency, okay, let's look at this. Um, okay, let's look at this video. Okay. Okay. What happened in this video? Okay, so basically we have two, uh, we have one triangle. Okay, lepas tu dia bina another triangle. Okay, with the same properties, with the same length. Okay, with the same angle and everything. Okay, so we can conclude that. Okay, congruency is okay. We have our uh, two different shape. Okay, with exact length exact um, angles and everything everything is the same okay that's what we can uh, that's what we can call congruency okay okay so let's look over here two objects are congruent if both have the same shape and size regardless of the orientation of the movement Okay, so tengok video ni tadi. Okay, kita ada dua, kita ada dua segitiga. Okay, tunggang terbalik bentuk dia. Uh, 
Satu ni sengit ke sini Satu ni sengit ke sini Tapi both a triangle Have the same angle Have the same length And uh, have the same size And everything Okay So that's what we call congruency Okay Okay now let's look Over here Okay example 3 Okay which of this pair are congruent? State Y. Okay, now we look at A. So we have two triangles. Okay, this one. Okay, this, uh, this is a right angle triangle. And this one is also right angle triangle. But they are not the same size. Okay, so we can say that this is not congruent. Because the size is not, is not the same. Okay. Walaupun bentuk dia sama Okay, tapi size dia berbeza Okay So, we can say that this is not congruent at all Okay B So, we have Okay, macam ni Okay Satu biru, satu putih Next, kita ada dot 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 Reflection Okay uh, To the other side ni Macam kita tengok cermin lah Kalau tengok cermin uh, Okay Ini dia punya pantulan Image dia Okay, so this situation, we can say that this is congruent as they are of the same size although the position and orientation are not the same. Nah, ingat tu eh? Okay, congruency, okay, dia tak kisah dia punya uh, position and orientation as long as they are the same size. Okay? Okay, so uh, I want you to try uh, self practice 11.1. Okay, number 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, mudah saja. Okay, empat soalan awak just tengok bentuk. Bentuk-bentuk dia. Okay, then state congruent or not. Okay, uh, transformation ke tidak. Okay. Okay, now let's move to next subtopic. 11.2 Okay For 11.2 The first learning standard is Recognize Translation Okay So what is translation? Okay So let's Have a look At this Page Translation Okay So what is actually a translation? Okay a Translation um, apa yang saya boleh katakan uh, Dia benda yang sama Objek itu okay, Tetapi It moves Upward Downward Or to the left Or to the right Okay Dia masih uh, Objek yang sama Cuma dia bergerak ke atas Ke bawah Ke kiri Ke kanan Ke depan Ke belakang Okay Dia tak akan berpusing Okay For example Okay Let's look over here Okay Contoh saya ada Point A Okay, point A is Okay 3 2 okay. okay For example We have point A Okay Now point A The coordinate is 3 2 Okay So we have this one arrow Okay We can call this Arrow as vector Okay For example Kita kira eh Okay This vector Okay We have Okay How many unit in x axis 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Okay, so we can write it as this uh, column vector So 6 And then for y axis In y kan In y we have 2 box Okay, 2 unit Okay So the uh, translation of this vector is 6, 2 Okay, okay. kalau kita menggerakkan uh, Segi tiga ini mengikut vektor ini Okay, sekarang kita tengok apa yang berlaku Okay, for example Okay, ini eh So, tengok sini Okay, kita ada point E tadi oh, Sorry, point A A is 3, 2 Okay, for example Saya gerakkan Follow di 6, 2 Okay, 6, 2 so, 6, 2 Nampak tak di sini? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2 Okay Apa yang akan berlaku Sekejap eh 
guys ok apa yang akan berlaku dengan image A tadi ok ok sekarang tengok image A ni tadi dia akan menjadi 9 4 ok so contoh saya tulis A prime is 9 4 under this translation ok tengok eh macam mana dia boleh jadi tengok saya ada 3 2 ok saya tambah translation 6 2 ok so jawapan kita 3 plus 6 is 9 2 plus 2 is 4 ok so kita tahu image bagi A prime is 9 4 tengok tu kan 9 4 ok ok next uh, example lagi ok contoh uh, A juga ok sebab ni jangan nampak kan kalau saya pilih orang lain tak nampak ok so for example saya ambil uh, translation uh, follow ni 1, 2, 3 saya ambil 3, 2 sorry bukan 3, 2 uh, 5, 3 ok maksud dia X exists saya 5 unit Y exists saya 3 unit ok X exists 5 unit to the right Y exists 3 unit upward ok so betul lah kan 1, 2 ok saya follow ni 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1, 2, 3 ok so ke sini betul kan ok nampak ni 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1, 2, 3 Okay, nampak tak image A ni tadi dia akan pergi ke sini ok A prime kita sekarang 8 5 betul tak kita cuba ok asal tadi kita ada 3 2 kan 3 2 plus 5 3 so kita ada 5 plus 3 8 3 plus 2 5 ha, betul tak 8 5 so 8 Okay. So, ini adalah contoh translation ok ok now so let's look over here ok translation is the transfer of all points on a plane in the same direction and through the same distance ok kalau contoh ni tadi segitiga kan so kalau segitiga satu saya gerak dia akan gerakkan semua sekali ha, tengok balik ni tadi kan oops Tengok dia bergerak Ok Ok contoh yang ni ha, Saya gerakkan A ya. Dia bergerak semua sekali Dengan image dia Ok Saya gerakkan B 1 2 3 ha, Nampak tak atas pun bergerak juga Jadi saya bawa dia ke bawah 1 2 3 ha, Nampak tak Yang ni pun bergerak sekali ha, Contoh saya turunkan C 1, 2, 3 Bila saya gerakkan C Image dia pun bergerak Itu translation Ok Ok So ok With a translation Object and images have the same shape Size and orientation Ok Ok now let's look at example 4 Ok identify which diagram shows translation Justify Okay, ingat tadi saya katakan Translation objek yang sama Okay, ini dia bergerak ke atas, ke bawah, ke kiri, ke kanan uh, Ataupun ke belakang, ke depan uh, Itu translation, dia tak akan mengubah bentuk dia Okay, kalau muncung dia ke depan, semua ke depan Okay, so for A, we can conclude that translation Because the shape, size and orientation are the same Okay, meanwhile for B Okay, the left arrow Okay, pointing to the right and the right arrow pointing to the left dia tak sama ok so we can say that it is not a translation because the orientation is not the same ok satu tunjuk ke kanan satu tunjuk ke kiri so tak boleh ok kalau translation tadi bentuk yang sama ok dia bergerak ke atas ke bawah ke depan ke belakang ok